Oh, the multifunction touch bar on the EOS R. Do you love it or do you hate it? It's been a topic for debate ever since the EOS R came out, but there are a few ways you can customize it that makes it really handy. And here are my top three custom settings for the touch bar on the Canon EOS R. But before I get into it, remember, come visit us here at the Digital Gojo showroom in Miami. And don't forget, we publish new content weekly, so subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. First off, before I get into the specific settings, one complaint I've seen repeatedly is that people tend to accidentally activate it and randomly change their camera settings, which you can avoid by turning on the locking feature which locks it by default, and then you just unlock it when you want to use it by holding down the left side of the touch bar. Seems like an easy fix, but then there are complaints that it takes too long to unlock it, and it's cumbersome having to unlock it every few seconds to use it. Seems that there's no middle ground, or is there? Well, one smart way to get around this dilemma is by setting your lock button to lock and unlock the touch bar. It's a much faster and effective way to avoid accidentally activating the touch bar. Now to do this, just go into the settings and make sure the lock button only controls the bar. Boom, problem solved. Now let's get into the actual settings to assign to the touch bar that are really useful. Many people try using the touch bar as a way to swipe between ISO settings, but it can be frustrating as it's extremely sensitive and difficult to accurately select the right setting right away. It said my first tip is to use it for ISO, but set it to tap left side for auto ISO and tap right for ISO 100. When you tap it to 100, then you can manually adjust it using the control ring on your lens. My second tip is to assign the white balance to the touch bar. Now this is actually a much easier and quicker way to toggle between your white balance settings. Uh, just swipe left or right and choose your white balance as your lighting changes. Now this comes in handy in situations when you're going in and out of buildings and going from fluorescent lighting to natural sunlight. My third and last tip is to assign autofocus to your touch bar. Now, one good way to assign it is to set the swipe feature to toggle through the different AF methods. Then, once you choose face detect AF, you can have the left tap feature to enable or disable eye detect AF. When you swipe to the right and choose single point AF, you can have the right tap set to change the AF frame size. Now, if you want to change to a different mode, just swipe left or right. Now, are there any other ways that you use the multifunction bar that you find useful? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, remember, hit the thumbs up button below, subscribe to our channel, and tap the bell icon. And if you're in Miami, come visit us here at the Digital Goods Showroom. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.